Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. Um, a lot has happened since the last vlog. I'm pretty sure I vlogged a week in my life. That was the last one. Or maybe it was a day in the life. I can't remember. Everything is a mush right now. We are currently in September. September the 19th. It's been a minute since I picked up the camera. I've been watching dogs at somebody else's house. Um, there's four chihuahuas. I'll show them to you later. They're literally so cute. One is a cuddle bug. Well, two of them are cuddle bugs. One of them kind of had to warm up to me in the last one. He's he's just hilarious. He's just like he's a funny dog. Have you ever met a funny dog? Anyways, I am about to hop onto a tutoring session because I calculated my grade for three classes right now. Within the second year, they have bunches of classes that are grouped together but they're all their own class and so we'll take a cardio block we'll take a renal block right now we're taking hema oncology blocks um, as well as musculoskeletal and um, clinical neuroscience and so those are coming to an end and then we're going to start the cardio renal respiratory but i calculated my grade i literally have an 88 in all classes like an 88.4 88 point something and something and I'm just like, I need to end this because our last exam is next Monday with an A. So I'm going to all the tutoring sessions. I'm going to be on my game. I'm going to make sure I have everything written out and situated so that I can get A's in the class. I mean, wouldn't that be ideal? So I am about to log into this tutoring session and I'll see you guys in a minute. Don't you know so worry. So I'm back. This is Bella. I don't know where everybody went. This is Shadow and he has his little diaper. He's a cutie pie. This is my Ben. And that's my Bailey girl. She's the nicest one. She's my sweetheart. Hi, Bubba Hi, girl. Hi. She gotta be in everybody's, everybody's business. trying to play catch up so just a quick little overview I was watching dogs as you guys know and their the parents of the dogs went away on a trip however their flight coming back was totally canceled it was canceled so they missed their connecting flight and they had to stay where they were for a whole nother night so what ended up happening was the day before my exam I wasn't home studying for my exam. I was still taking care of the dogs. And so today, this morning was the exam, which I just finished. And I had to <laughs> try and get all my bearings together to make sure I actually passed the exam. So we did that, we passed the exam. One of them, I didn't do as well as I wanted to, but I still passed, it's fine. Um, it's also the first out of multiple exams. So I have time to like, get back on to it so right now I have another exam on Monday that is the final exams for three different classes musculoskeletal neuro as well as hematology oncology I'm like my brain is just totally fried the exam this morning was OPP and the class of you know how to become a doctor and it was a lot of special tests it was the shoulder it was knowing what to do with parasympathetic sympathetics um as well as just like anything that had to do with fatigue anything that had to do with pain upper or lower extremity and so it was just a lot of thinking a lot a lot so 
now that that's done i'm studying for this exam like i said before on monday i need to get an a basically on every single exam because i'm borderline getting an a in all of all of the classes like so borderline two points away borderline so i need to make sure i do very very well on that stuff and that is it so i'm here studying i need to run to my car and get my dry erase board because what i do is write out every single lecture that's on that exam as well as every single like special not special but stuff that makes certain diseases stand out right now i need to focus most on hematology and oncology because i literally i've gone to every single lecture so I'm, I'm proud of myself about that. However, I have not actually gone through to solidify what the special characteristics of certain diseases like age, you know, demographics, um, if there's translocations or doing leukemias and lymphomas as well as multiple myeloma, which I just went on Instagram, not Instagram, I went on my Facebook and it turns out my friend's mom has that. And so it's it's so weird because we learn about all these things in school, but then when it actually starts affecting people's lives and like I know people who are affected with it, um, like me, for example, I literally herniated my disc and we're learning about disc herniations. I'm literally like, I know this all has happened to me. And so today one of the questions was seeming like that was it. And I was like, this literally happened to me. It has to be it, period. So. I am going to go run and get my dry erase board and write everything out and you guys can review with me, I guess. So here we go. I post this here. I'm waiting for a call. <laughs> Let's just put that down. So I'm going to start writing everything that has to do with this first lecture, make sure I have it, I take a screenshot of it, and then before my exam, I can look through what's specific to this lecture and specific to what I need to learn. Here I wrote everything that I need to do, like an exam next Monday, exam today, I have to go over heme. Okay, so update. I literally got through only chronic myelogenous leukemia. We got a friend here. She came. This is Ivy, just like the intravenous IV you put in a patient. So I'm going to try and show you what I've been doing. I basically am going through leukemia, leukemias, and writing what they are. I've only gotten through BCR able one, <laughs> but we're we're getting there. This is gonna be my schematic. The teacher gave us the schematic, and now I'm gonna go in and fill in every single one. That makes sure I've gone over every single thing in its entirety. And I don't want to miss things, you know. Like there's a lot of pictures associated with it, what the patient will actually look like, if there's any genetic things you have to remember for that certain disease. And now when I add other diseases on top of that, I'm gonna have to like keep everything categorized. So it's going to be a lot, but we're doing it. Um, I went to Trader Joe's last night instead of studying. What else is new? And so I got this body butter. It's, I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's like sitting right here. It smells just like a pumpkin and it's subtle enough. I was thinking I bought it and I was like, ooh, should I bought that? Because I feel like it's going to be super duper loud, but it wasn't. It's actually really nice. Let me close all of these. Comment down below, are you guys the type of people who leave literally everything open? Cause that's me. I'm just like that. I just made some lunch. It's basically potatoes, onion, and two chicken thighs. I'm gonna just air fry it for a little bit and call it a day. So lunch is served. It does not look that spectacular, but I just did potatoes, onions, Chicken thigh and avocado. I ran out of fork, so I'm working with a spoon. Come on, let's 
go. We're on our walk. Come on. I feel like it's warm in here. Good girl. All right, you hungry for dinner? So that's basically a full day. I am watching lectures on here, writing it down here. Just walked this little one over here. And that's like a day. I usually don't end up spending time at right, well, at least the afternoon after, ta after taking an exam. <laughs> Who's there? I usually don't take the time to study, but we have an exam on Monday and I need to be ready for it because I'm just so close to passing the class. So, I'm out of breath. I'm going to retire for the night. I got a few more lectures to watch, but I'm happy with the progress that I made today. Thanks for coming along and just hearing some updates of, what, this is the second month of medical school? It's really no joke. They end up doing, well, at least my school, they started the second year orienting the classes in terms of systems. So we'll be done with three systems. We basically have our final exam for those systems. Something was on my face. <laughs> very, very soon, like within five days, I should be done and moving on to cardio. We're starting with cardio, then we're moving on to, what is it? Respiratory and renal. So I'm very hyped about that. I see notifications on them. I guess the platform that they keep all of the PowerPoints and things on and it's like, oh, someone just uploaded a quiz. Someone just uploaded their PowerPoint slides. And I'm like, okay, it's about to happen, but I gotta stay strong and do well in this stuff. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for coming along. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> She's like, please leave me alone. She's always right by my side. Good night.